Hello world, Lisa Fredrickson, your friend and computer science professor with another short screencast about access. And now we're working on lookup fields, which create these handy drop down lists for a field. And that improves productivity because it's easier to pick a choice off the list than type it in. And it greatly improves accuracy because you know that the value will be spelled correctly because you're just selecting it off the list. But we're going to talk in this screencast about how to change the values in the list. And we do that by modifying the source of the list, which is the job titles table. Now, it doesn't matter if you're in the job titles table or a query that's based on this table or a form that is based on this table. All three of those objects, a table, a query, and a form, can be used for data entry. But for simplicity's sake here, I'm going to just use the table and enter in a new title. And we'll add a new starting salary for that job title. Now I'm going to close the job titles table, close the employees table, open it back up, which refreshes that drop down list. We're going to see that new job title in the list with the correct starting salary. And we would see that new value for the list automatically in every query and form that contains that job title lookup field. So that's great. But what if you say to yourself, a while back, we changed the job title from sales representative to marketing representative. And you know what? They're just really not doing much marketing. They're really sales representatives. So we want to change that back. Well, if the value is not on this list, you can't choose it. And you can't just go ahead and directly modify drop down list. You're going to get an error message because that value does not exist in the parent table, in the one table in the job titles table in this one to many relationship. So we have to click OK here and press escape to remove that edit. The only way to allow marketing representative to change to sales representative would be to do it directly in the job titles table. So here we have the marketing representative record. And if I change that to sales representative, you'd think that would work. But as soon as I click off that record, I'm going to get another error message the record cannot be deleted or changed because tables employees includes related records. In other words, what it's saying to you is you've got several records. You've got several employees that have the title of marketing representative. If you want to change all of them to sales representative, you're going to have to go through another step. And that other step is this. We have to get out of both of the tables and go into the relationship screen and modify this relationship. So right now, Job titles is related to employees in a one-to-many relationship through the common job title field. If I double-click that link line, I've got an option that says Update Related Field, Cascade Update Related Fields. So that means if I make a modification here to the job title field, it's going to cascade through this relationship and update all my employees. I'm going to go ahead and click OK and save and close my relationships. Now I can go into job titles, change that marketing representative title, sales representative, and it's going to cascade update all of the related employee records. And I'll prove that to you by opening the employees table. And there we see sales representative every place where we used to see marketing representative. Now this is a fabulous feature. But personally, when I'm in the relationship screen, I do not as a general rule, leave this cascade updated related fields choice on. Because again, what it's doing is cascading through a relationship, and updating all of the records in the child table behind the scenes. And you really don't want that to happen without your knowledge. So I leave that checkbox off and only check it, only choose it when I'm specifically making a modification that I do want to cascade as I just showed you. Uh, the next cascade option is even more dangerous, cascade delete related records. That means if I delete a parent record, I would cascade through this relationship and delete all of the related records in the employees table. Now, sometimes you might want to do that if you've got a bunch of test data in a child table that you're just testing and then you want to delete all those records all at once. But for the most part, you leave those two check boxes clear and then only choose them when you're making a specific update modification or a specific number of records that you want to delete in a child table. So that's how to change your drop down list. You can either add new records 
or if you need to modify an existing record that has related records in the mini table, in this case, in the employees table, you need to go in and modify the relationships first before you can make a change to a parent that already has existing children. Thank you.